Hello children, welcome back to the English class. So we are going to begin the chapter. Discovering Tut, the saga continues. To give you a very brief introduction, this is about the life and death of King Tut. So King Tut or Tutankhamun, he was just a teenager when he died. He was the last heir of a powerful family that had ruled Egypt and its empire for centuries. He was buried and forgotten over the years. But after the discovery of his tomb in 1922, the modern world wondered about the cause of his untimely death. He was brought out of his tomb and recently a CT scan was done to know the reason of his death. Now let us move on to the chapter. The chapter begins by saying how at 6 p.m. on 5th January 2005, the world's most famous mummy was taken out from its burial tomb. As the mummy of the King Tut was being put into the scanner, for performing a CT scan, angry winds stirred and dark clouds covered the stars. The weather had been overcast all day and the night sky was hidden by dark bellied clouds. The CT scan was being done to unearth the remaining medical mysteries that surrounded the untimely death of this young king who died more than 3000 years ago. Tut's tomb lies 26 feet underground in the ancient Egyptian cemetery known as the Valley of Kings. Tourists from around the world came to visit the tomb to pay their respects. They gazed at the murals on the walls of the burial chamber and looked at King Tut's gilded face on the lid of his outer coffin. The visitors were curious and thoughtful. Some feared the pharaoh's curse would befall those who disturbed him. In the third paragraph of page number 23, you can note the words of Zahi Hawass. He was the Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities. He says about Howard Carter. He explained that the mummy was in a very bad condition because of what Howard Carter did to it. Howard Carter was a British archaeologist who in the year 1922 discovered King Tut's tomb after years of futile searching. Its contents remain the richest royal collection ever found. There were dazzling works of art in gold that had caused a sensation then and it still continue to draw people's attention even today. King Tut was also buried with everyday things such as boat games, a bronze racer, cases of foods, clothes, wine, etc. that he would need in the life after death. The royals in King Tut's time believed that they could take their fortune with them after death. Hence, King Tut was buried with all his expensive belongings. To separate King Tut from his ornaments, Howard Carter had to remove the mummy's head and cut off nearly every major joint. Then they reassembled the remains of the body on a layer of sand in a wooden box with padding. So Howard Carter tried to loosen the resins by putting the mummy outside in the sun that heated it to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. For several hours, the mummy was set outside in blazing sunshine, but nothing happened. He reported that the tough material had to be cut from under the limbs 
and trying to free the king's remains. As he could not loosen the resins, he had to cut off every major joint and it was after this that he reassembled. So King Tut's body is now kept in that wooden box made by Howard Carter. So, I hope you have understood how Howard Carter discovered King Tut's tomb and what he did to the mummy. We will continue with the same chapter in the next module. Thank you.